Little Owl Snow by Daria Swinnon Nason. <laughs> Look at the bear. A chill cuts through the forest. Little Owl fluffed his feathers. Something is happening, he thought. Green leaves turned orange, gold, and brown, then began to fall. Geese flew off to warmer places, navigating by starlight and honking all the way. There's the owl. Dry fallen leaves rustled and crackled as animals scurried, preparing for the cold. There's the raccoon. There we go. Bear was eating all day and into the night. Winter's almost here, little owl said. Isn't it exciting? Winter's too cold, Bear shuddered. I'm staying in. Bear sleeps through all the fun, Raccoon whispered. You'll see. Bats disappeared into a cave. Caterpillars closed up their cocoons. Goodbye, Hedgehog called. See you in spring. And he wiggled into his warm winter home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Little Owl thought he saw a moth. But it was only a leaf in the wind. The forest felt so empty now. <laughs> the friends were making fog when it happened. I thought it was laughing. <sighs> when it happened, what do you think happened? Dun, dun, dun. Snow! Soon the forest was blanketed in snow, its crystals glinting in the light. Tracks began to appear, now everyone was hidden away. The deer is still out, and the stone, and the crows, and the fox, and the raccoon swimming in the river. Little Owl hopped atop the frozen pond, watching fish swimming underneath. How strange and wonderful it all was! Oh. But one night, Little Owl started to miss Hedgehog. Mama, Little Owl asked, how much longer till spring? Snow is like a special secret. Not everyone can know. Mama said, are you ready for it to melt away so soon? The forest was very quiet. Little Owl could hear the smallest sounds. An icicle dripped onto a patch of slush. Mama told Little Owl he would see fireflies again. He would see Hedgehog too, soon enough. But right now though, yeah, it's not perfect. It was time to enjoy the snow.